in this video I'll show you how we can add data to Firebase Firestore so basically we have three ways to add the data so the first one is that we can set data by specifying the document identifier and also we can use automatic document identifier so uh, for the second way the Firebase will decide like the, what identifier to use and Firebase will create one unique identifier each time we are adding one data. And the third one is that we can create an empty document with automatic identifier and we can set the data to that empty document. Okay, now let's move to our project. Okay, so this is the project that we are working on currently. And if I click on this Cloud Firestore, it will open the fire store activity this, uh, this is the fire store activity so in our previous video i saw on you how we can use one uh, has map to add data to a fire store so basically for name email uh, updates and age we are getting the data in these fields and this is a has map we are creating one has map and we are using this document then firestore dot collection the collection name is subscribers the document name is the email text and we are setting this uh, hash map to this document now instead of using one hash map we can also create one data class so let me create one data class for that i have to go to this app java and this is this package is for firestore and i created one pack uh, more uh, sorry one folder here this is uh, its name is models let me create one new data file code in class file and i can select it as the data class and let's give the name of the data class as user okay so it created one data class the first one i'm gonna get is a string it's optional value type and by default it will be null second one i'm gonna get the email it's also a string and by default it is null and the third one i'm gonna get the one boolean and this one is for update yeah this one is for this checkbox and it's of type boolean and it's also an optional value and by default it's false and the last one is the age so i can get the age as integer and by default it is minus one okay now instead of this as well we can use the user okay so for that the first thing is the first one is the, let me import the user okay and the first one is the name the second one is the email and the third one is this checkbox and the fourth one is the age value now let me restart the app now let's move to the cloud fire store let me give one name email receive update yes it's suppose it is 11 10 let me click on this add button then it's showing this pop-up the subscriber edit now let's go to this first project let me repress it and inside the subscriber for this email we are getting this data but here you can see that it's written as update but here if you go to the model class you can see that it is updated for that actually we have to annotate this with a field okay uh, yeah so if i now rerun the app then it will add it as is updated now let me go to this and gmail let me add it and for this you can see that it is is updated you can write different types of data in a document so you can add a strings booleans numbers dates or you can also add nested arrays or even objects so let's say we want to add one date 
okay so suppose the date is the name is created at. for reading date we have one uh, type it's called timestamp timestamp uh, timestamp it can see that it's defining this virus okay let's import this one and here inside this timestamp constructor we have to pass one date okay we can import this java util date there is one more field type uh, it's called let me create one variable update date at it's called uh, server timestamp and it's of type field value okay and we can get it as field value dot server timestamp so this is the timestamp when this data is updated in the firebase server now if i go to this cloudfire store and if i add something here and let me add this data then if i go here for this one you can see that this one is a created ad i uh, updated this a little bit later like almost one second later from the created ad. you can use this server timestamp if you want to like uh, log when the data is updated or when the data is added okay, now let's go back to this activity file yeah so with this example we learned the first one that is the set data by specifying the document identifier so here we are defining the uh, identifier of the document so this is the email so you can see that the document is the email that of the user we can also ask firebase as they get to give us one unique uh, document for that you can just remove this one and here you can just send it to add Okay, now let me restart it now let's try to add something here hello mail 23 yes add and if i go here and you can see that it added one unique id so each time we will add one data then it will add one unique id for the document so this is the second way that auto document identifier and the third way is that we can create one empty document with an auto identifier and we can set the data this is simple so first thing we have to create one identifier so let me say let's say it is dbref and we can use this firestore variable firestore dot collection so the collection name is this one is a collection let me copy this part okay and we can call this method document so basically it will give us one reference and it created one empty document and uh, once it is created we can use it we use this reference reference and we can call this set method to add the data now let me restart okay if i move to this cloud first store x hello x hello x red mail and 23 now let's see how it looks like okay this is the new document that is created you can see that we can also pass the document part here test but let me use it as this part and if i restart it if i go to this cloud fry store okay this is true this is one and if i click add then you can see that for this this part document we are adding this data so these are the basic ways that you can use to add data to a firebase fire store and if you have any question please drop one comment below and if you love my video please like it and please subscribe to my channel thanks bye